It is almost next to impossible for me to pass by a local bakery and not pick up a puff pastry. Puff pastry has been one of my most favorite snacks ever. So today on that note, let's see a chicken puff. Hey guys, this is a Bombay Chef Varun Inamdar and welcome to Get Curried. The most important thing in a puff is to get the filling nice, juicy and moist. For which I'm going to take some oil, heat the pan on moderate flame. As soon as the oil heats up, we'll add in some cumin seeds. Once these begin to crackle, I'll add in chopped red onions. To cook the onions faster, I'll add in some salt. We need to saute these on high flame for two to three minutes till they just kind of turn translucent. Once the onions turn translucent, I'll add in crushed ginger, garlic and green chilies. Cook this for another two minutes or till the raw flavor kind of goes away. Once that's done, we'll start adding in the powder spices. In this case, red chilli powder, some turmeric powder, and finally, some coriander powder. In fact, you could skip all of these and add in a spoonful of madras curry powder. Time to add in the minced chicken. It's a boneless breast of chicken, which we have hand chopped and not minced in a grinder. Pan fry this on high flame for two to three minutes. Like I said earlier, the essence of a good puff pastry lies in the filling too. So that's the reason why you do not cook this till it's completely done because it's also going to get baked in the oven. Once the mixture is almost cooked, like almost 90% cooked, I'll turn the flame off and add in freshly cut coriander leaves along with mint leaves. Give this mixture a nice mix and allow this to cool down completely. In the interim, Let's move on to the puff pastry. Here is a puff pastry which is beautifully laminated and layered. Well, it's available everywhere. The first thing now is to dredge some refined flour on your worktop. I'm also sprinkling some flour on top of it and I'm going to press it down lightly with some pressure. I'm using a rolling pin. Well, this is a frozen piece of pastry and that's how you need to begin working. Puff pastry is usually available in frozen form. We need to bring it down to room temperature and press it lightly like so with a rolling pin. Do not do this forcefully because you may just end up getting all the butter outside. Turn it over and repeat the process. I'm going to turn it at an angle and roll it like so. Do not apply a lot of pressure like I said earlier, you do not want the butter to be oozing out. I've rolled this into a sheet which is roughly around 3 mm thick. Well, you could get it into a triangle, a square. Just going to trim the sides off. Ensure there is minimal wastage here. Well, not that you're going to throw this. You can make nice cheese straws out of this. But for now, let's concentrate on the chicken puff. I'm going to just give a few markings. I'm going to cut it into three long strips. The next thing is to cut it into squares. And now, time to get in the cool down stuffing. We need to place spoonfuls right in the center. Around the edges, I'm going to apply some water with my index finger. This will help in sticking the pastry together. While I'm making these cute little triangles, you could also make some rounds, half moons or squares. I'm going to take the top side, turn it over and press it on this side. Similarly, let's move on to the rest. Need to flip it over with the top edge coming towards you. You need to press it down with all your fingers. It's important to press the sides down because the puff in the oven will just open up like a flour and you do not want that to happen. Well, to secure it even further, using a fork, I'm going to press the edges down. Now this gives you two things. One is to give this a nice designed edge and two is to secure the pastry together. This step is also known as crimping. The last step is to make the egg wash for which I'm going to use an egg yolk. To this, I'll be adding in some water. 
and along with this some salt whisk this together and apply this on top of the pastry using a brush this is done to give the pastry a nice golden brown crust do not overdo this because you do not want an omelette on top and finally I'm going to sprinkle some untoasted sesame seeds carefully lift this and place it on the baking tray well I've lined this with a silpat you could also line this with a baking sheet time to bake these puff pastries in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes the puff pastry is baked and ready allow this to cool down for five minutes before you serve with this your chicken puffs are baked and ready do try this at home with some tomato ketchup or mayonnaise the link to these two recipes is there in the description box below do not forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to get curried